Knights of Apollo. What's up, guys? Welcome to a brand new medieval game called Medieval Dynasty. And right out of the gate, this game reminds me of a Kingdom Come Deliverance. Just the style, the text, the landscape here. It's really cool. It's making me feel really good. Like, ah, uh, because, you know, Kingdom Come was such a great game. But this is different from Kingdom Come. This is not... I mean, it's kind of... It, it's got RPG elements, but it's a survival game. So where you collect resources, you build, you gather, and I think you also, like, interact with villages to make money. It's really cool, and I've played a little bit of it, so I'm not a complete moron when I'm showing you how to play the game. Uh, but if you guys are interested in this game, I do recommend looking down in the video description. You can get this game for 28% off. 28% off through Games Planet. So all you do is buy the game through them. They will give you a Steam key and you will be able to activate the Steam key. So you'll save 28% of your money. And of course, you will support my channel by using that link down in the video description. So yeah. Big, big thank you to Games Planet for the opportunity, and of course, big thank you to you for wanting to check it out and, and using that link. So I do appreciate you guys. And man, what a time. What a time for indie games. There, there has been some really awesome indie games. I don't know if you could consider Kingdom Come Deliverance an indie game. I'm not really sure, but they're definitely not the biggest company. You also have uh, Paradox. Uh, of course, they're not indie, but they made a really awesome medieval game. So there's more medieval games coming out. There's Manor Lords, which is coming out around the corner. So this fall, I believe it's supposed to come out like alpha, just like this uh, this game, Medieval Dynasty. Not quite fall yet, but fall is one of my favorite seasons. It, it is my favorite season. It's a couple days away. I think September 21st is officially fall, but the league are already changing it's quite beautiful there's a nice breeze I love it anyways let's dive in shall we I used to have a simple life whatever needed doing round the farm I'd do it <laughs> being the eldest son it's tough but at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away, yelling for me to run, to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north, in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks I held on to that thought, until the valley from my mother's stories. I could see it. This is where I can start a new life. That was epic. That was a cool intro. So you got, you know, just a peasant that enjoys a simple life. War came to his village or house or farm and he had to escape. Now, maybe he's not a fighter. Maybe maybe he's someone who can't join the war and fight back. And he's his skill set is in farming, which honestly, I know like the memes and the jokes of medieval medieval times is always making fun of peasants like ah, peasant, you know, peasant scum. You know, as the noble uh, disrespects the peasant. But actually, uh, peasants were actually very uh, respected in medieval society because they are the ones who created things. Uh, in, in fact, merchants were, were frowned upon because they were just like the middleman. Uh, the peasant was the one farming and building and crafting and really keeping a, king, a kingdom alive. Uh, so peasants were not this like, I mean, obviously they were lower on in terms of class, uh, but they were highly respected. And back then class was, you know, like you had arist aristocrats who actually respected the lower classes and defended them and, and helped them. So it was, uh, it's quite different from, <laughs> I guess, today's time. 
Uh, but yeah, we've got a little quest here. Uh, so again, I played a little bit at the beginning. So what we're doing right here, by the way, does this not scream Crusader, or not Crusader, uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance? It is a little different. Uh, this is made from the Unreal Engine, will, um, while the, uh, uh, Kingdom Come is made from Cry Engine. Unreal, okay, excuse me. Unreal Engine, oh my god, they're so loud. Unreal Engine doesn't look as nice, but this, it, I mean, this is still a beautiful game. Uh, CryEngine just looks amazing, but the Unreal Engine, I think you can do a lot more with it easily, I assume. I don't know. Wait, where am I going? Oh, wait, he's over here. So we, ha we have to talk to the Castilian, and I think he's going to give us some information. Here he is. Hey! <laughs> All right. Hello. Age 55, approval 50%. Hey, stranger. What brings you to our village? You don't look like a merchant or a pilgrim. Uh, I am neither. Why does it matter? No, it's a little rude. No, I'm not. I'm Rasimir is my name, and I came from the south looking for my uncle, Jordan. In his old home, they called him Jordan the, the Raftsman. Jordan, ah, yes. He told me once about his life on the river. You came to the right place. Uh, but a few years too late, I'm afraid. Why? What? What happened to my uncle? He was a great man, an even better friend, Rasimir. As a good craftsman and an excellent trader, he made a small fortune here. See the tavern over there? He built it, ran it, as well as many other shops you can find in the, in the valley. Okay, but what happened? Did he die? My mother told me that he got wealthy in the north. Okay, yeah. My uncle got himself killed or your uncle my friend he had the idea of a huge trade with the german kingdom in the west okay so what like the holy roman empire in the west so are we like east of that are we like polish by any chance anyways but or maybe we're also like uh, anyways we'll figure it out later five carts filled with the best iron beautiful uh, colored linen in our excellent beer uh, pulled by 10 oxen he was not fooling around i can tell you that much so what happened how did he die uh you got his trek got ambushed by bandits his uh, his carters slaughtered he must have put up a good fight took two with them uh to death from what we saw what we searched for him i buried him myself or better what the wolves left behind oh jeez. i'm sorry to be the bearer of such news my uncle is dead his wealth is gone i came all the way here for nothing don't say that now hold hold on uh, I won't let a nephew of Jordan go to waste. E and even if most villagers forgot fast, uh, they what they owe your uncle, I have no intention to join them here. Uh, I have no intention to join them here. I am the Castilian, and my word still carries weight. So tell me, can you build your own fortune? I can craft simple tools, and I can collect my necessities. Yeah, okay. Yes, basically. That's good enough. Uh, it may have goods or I would say I may not have goods or gold to offer sorry I've got a fourth grade reading skill but you can still have as much land here as you want not sold you're granted not oh, oh, hold on this is kind of big as much land here as you want not sold but granted to you for life build a house grow vegetables keep some livestock and follow your uncle's dream are you serious my own land as much as i want god i wish that was true now as much as you want good use my boy as long as you can pay your taxes i understand do you have any advice for me to start with you can cut down trees and build your house reed grows by the river it should work well for a roof uh, do you have any do you have some food with you not much if necessary, you'll find several vendors in our village, and you don't have any money for food. You can always look for mushrooms in the forest or hunt animals. Maybe I could earn some coins somehow? Sure, you can talk to the people in the villages, and maybe someone will pay you for help. Excellent. So, it's time for me to find the right place. Okay, thank you very much. See you next time. So, this is the basic interface here. You got tab, which shows your inventory, your skills, your journal, like quests, map management technology then you have the construction wheel where you can build tools and buildings and then you have inspector mode which kind of highlights things on the map for you so pretty straightforward so if you press tab here it is this is just giving you uh, knowledge provides information hints about the world that's important so and then we got your journal which shows your quests and the objectives and whatnot so um, if we look at okay here's our skill Oh, skills. Okay, this is... I haven't really done much of this. So you can kind of pick what you want to be good at. 
And I'm sure like your skills will shape around what you do a lot in the game, I assume. Skills show your uh, currently selected skills or the yeah, selected skills. Okay, cool. Talent tree. Talent tree shows the entirety of the talents available. Currently selected skill tree. Okay, cool. So we got our skills there. You can see farming knowledge, hunting knowledge, um, trading, fishing, uh, blacksmith, like crafting. And then we have extraction, which I assume is like mining. You have a journal here with your quests, side quests, everything like that. So as you can tell, here's the map. A yeah, pretty straightforward uh, map here. You got multiple towns. Multiple towns. You got management here. I guess management is... It manage inhabitants, buildings, fields, and animals. Inhabitants can be assigned to buildings and fields with chosen profession. Animals can be assigned to buildings only. Press F to assign. Oh! So you can, like, hire people? That's kind of cool. And then technology. Technology tab tracks the progress of tools and buildings you can construct. Additionally, it boosts, boasts a wide selection of schematics you can purchase with coin. Ah. Okay, so... There's a lot going on here. So even though I started this and, um, you know, I, I started this, I played a little bit. I understand the basics, but I still have a lot to learn. And I kind of like going into a game not knowing everything because it's something that we can kind of share together, learn the game together. But you can see how awesome this game is. Um, it's currently single player. I don't know if they're going to add co-op or multiplayer. I'm not sure. Uh, but right now it's single player. It would be really cool to play this co-op. You know, craft a village with your friends and whatnot. So, uh, we do have a new beginning um, quest here. We got to collect 10 sticks, two rocks, and build a stone axe. So, we got sticks over here. You can just get them from the branches. So, yeah, pretty easy. You just hold down E and you can get your sticks, maple branches. So, we have enough sticks. So, might as well get a couple extra. Now we need to get rocks. Now rocks I usually find in rocky locations. Go figure, right? Um, if we go over here, you can see you can grab... Uh, wait. Sometimes you got to look around a little bit. So there's stone. We could definitely like mine this. But usually there's some sort of rock sitting around. I mean rocks are not the... Maybe I'm just like really stupid. But wait, wait, wait. Rock. There we go. There's a rock. Rocks are not the easiest thing to find. From what I noticed in this game. Like, I'm used to playing, like, other survival games where there's, like, rocks literally everywhere. But here, it seems like rocks are a little... What is this? Oh, St. John Wart. Some herbs. Okay, that's new. Never seen that before. There's a lot of herbs over here. We could probably make some, like, medication or tea or something. Oh, here we go. Rock. Okay, so we got our two rocks. Now, if we press Q, we can craft a stone axe. And with the stone axe, we can start chopping down trees and begin our building. Now, you, you can't build too close to the village. So I need to create some distance here. If you look over across the way, across the river, which looks beautiful. God, you know, there's, there's just something about this time period. And I get it, like, I wouldn't necessarily want to live in this time period because of the lack of, like, medicine and, like, the lack of inventions to make life very, uh, convenient, I guess. Um, but there's just something about going out, doing hard labor, you know, like, building houses, collecting tree, collecting, you know, food, cutting down trees, and, uh, hunting, and then at night going to the tavern and hanging out with the community like there's just something very cool about that that i feel like we've kind of lost that in today's today's society it's all everything's online and stuff and i know my job <laughs> my career i guess you could say <laughs> is being online but still i i just love i love you know going out and doing laborious things i guess uh, but if i got a big shout out to a big channel i, I really love to watch it's called My Self Reliance. This is a Canadian guy who uh, bought just acres of land and on the land he used the trees on the property to build his own cabin. And, and he's like built so much more. Uh, so it's very cool, very impressive, and it's a great channel. So I'll link that in the video description. But I'm going to build my house over here. This looks like a beautiful plot of land. We got nice riverfront view. I like it. Uh, not a ton of trees, but 
we can cut down some trees over there. So, yeah, well, let's, um, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm not going to cut this tree down. I like it. I want some trees around my house. But we're going to go all the way over to this, like, uh, this forest line here and cut down these trees. So, yeah, we have to cut down some trees to get some logs. Let's go ahead and equip the axe, which uh, we did, right? We did not. Okay, hold on. So, if we go to tab, if you go to your inventory, your, your tools, or not, oh, there we go. Okay, yes. You can assign the stone axe to a key, right? So, now we should be able to equip it. There we go. So, I made it my, uh, my one button on my keyboard so when, when we get more tools we can assign other tools to, to like two three you know that that stuff so let's um now chop the tree up there we go we can start collecting our logs not too bad huh not too bad with the uh, stone axe I made in five minutes <laughs> okay cool let's go ahead and chop this tree down as well we'll get two trees I think we have to cut five trees actually I like that you have to chop the tree down and then, like, chop it again. There we go. Now, you can carry too much. So it's something we have to watch out for. For now, we're doing okay. Um, let's go up this way, chop down more trees. I wonder if you could plant trees in the future, because I would like to have a lot of trees around my house. And I think we can even build our own village, guys. Like, have a huge village. There we go. Get these logs. Okay, now we're carrying too much. That's okay. We're gonna go back to where I want to build my house. Right between these two trees. That's where I'm gonna put my house. So what you have to do is uh, you go to the queue. Go to buildings. You can see we can make storage, farming, survival, crafting... Uh, houses. So we're gonna go to the houses. We don't have these unlocked yet. We're gonna build a simple small house. And we're gonna make sure we have the front door facing the river. Boom. Oh yeah. Look at this. That's a view. That's a view right there. We can we can cut down the sh the shrubbery over there, the vegetation. But I like it. I like it. Ah, what a view. Okay. So uh, now that we have these logs. I think we have some logs. We can actually build... To, to finish the house, we have to build a wooden building hammer. So, let's do that. And there we go. And then we can then go to tab, go to our inventory. Oh, do we already have a... Oh, we already have a hammer. Oops. Well, we can assign it to the number two button. So, we'll switch to a hammer. And you can see that we can start building. Oh, yeah. Alright, so we're going to need more sticks and logs. We also are going to need straw for a um, roof. Let's go ahead and switch to our axe. And let's go collect some more logs. And, you know, I, you know I, there's something about survival games. I know I don't record them a lot. I do play them decently. It's not, I'm not gonna say I play them all the time, but if I'm ever looking for a chill, fun experience where I can sit back, gather resources, build things, I love it. I love it. It's just a nice chill. It's good for like, you know, lowering anxiety and stuff, so. Alright, there we go. Let's get our logs here. So let's not forget, we need to chop down another tree. And that will be one of our quest quest lines there. So, another tree going down. Whoa. Watch out. And chop this down. There we go. Those are five trees. We do have too many logs. That's okay. We're going to go over here and collect some branches. Sticks and branches so we can finish our home. At least get most of it done. We are walking very slowly because I'm carrying a lot of logs. 
I wonder if there's like some sort of log sleigh I could use, you know, where I could like, kind of like, have you ever played the forest where you gather logs that way? Okay, so <laughs> we're going super slow. <laughs> I might have to edit this out. Okay, <laughs> so we made it to the house. Let's go ahead and use our resources here. There we go, very nice. Okay. All right, that's done. So we got plenty of sticks now. You can see we got 50, over 50 sticks. Now 40 as we continue to use them. I'm getting very tired. This is exhausting work. There we go. So all we have to do now, well, I guess we we need to get a roof here soon. Can we can we go in? How do we how do we uh, open it? Oh, you just run through it. Oh, okay. I was like, is there an action to to open it? All right, and then okay. So now we got to do the roof. Which, um, we need straw, which is our next little objective that we need to get here. So, straw confused me at first, because I was like, where, like, from grass? Like, do I just get it from, like, tall grass? You actually get it from the riverbed. There's something called reed. I think that's it over there. You see that little vegetation there? Uh, oh, it's right there. So, we can grab reed. And that will turn into straw. Here, we can grab it from here. This is this is an awesome game. I just love the medieval, like, the realism, I guess. So we got ten. I don't know how many we're going to need. Oh, food. Food is a central perimeter for life, and without it, HP drops. You must eat to restore it. Initially, you can build, you can hunt animals for meat, uh, but raw meat can cause poisoning. In spring, more mushrooms are edible and can be found in the forest, but unripe berries can cause poisoning. In summer, the berries are ripe and good to eat. So we have to wait until they're ripe in the summertime. And in the fall, there are a much larger selection of mushrooms, but you can, but you need to be careful which, uh, with the poisonous ones. I don't know how to determine what is safe and what's not. Okay, so we got our 20 straw. And look at our house, it's coming along, guys. How quaint, how peaceful, how simple, how wonderful. All right, let's get over here. Let's build this roof, and then we need to start worrying about our food and hydration, as it is getting very low. Nice! Okay. Alright, we're gonna need to go get more straw. I kinda... <laughs> It's kind of funny, the game's like, hey, collect 20 straw. You would think it would be enough to build the house, but it's not. So let me go ahead and go back, get more straw. Okay, that should be enough to finish the house. So let's run back. My food's getting pretty low, and my hydration's getting pretty low. A new beginning. Oh, wait. We need a log. Okay, so... There we go. We have enough straw. Alright, so we need to get one, two, three logs. So we need to go chop down a house. It's getting nighttime, you guys. We need to hurry up. We haven't even made a bed or a fire. I'm getting hungry, which, by the way, maybe I should eat something. So, oh, skills. Oh, skills. Um, we can spend a skill in survival. Survival knowledge. One skill point from survival activities. I don't know what survival knowledge does for us. Maybe, like, when... Okay, so, like... Mm, okay, hold on. Let's see. Insensitive work in progress. Two degrees better temperature tolerance. 
iron liver, 15% resist resistance to poisoning. Let's go, let's go with knowledge. Um, so let's go ahead. This is my first time getting a, yeah, let's, let's, let's do it. Um, increase level F, boom. So there we go. Uh, what, so if you press alt, you can see like a highlight, it highlights things for you. And I assume the more knowledge you have, the more th things it will highlight. Anyways, we were over there to, to eat something. We do have some food here. An apple, roll, oats, rolls. Let, let, yeah, let's see some rolls here. I guess we'll just eat two of them. Oh, perfect. Our, wow, our hydration went up as well. Maybe I should have just have eaten one. Maybe I ate too much. Oh well. Maybe uh, rolls are hard to come across. <laughs> My bad. There we go. Okay, one, two, we'll just grab them all. Boom. Ah, there's our house. Look at it. So great. So awesome. Uh, by the way, if you look at the top, of course, there's the compass, right? Uh, the little meter that's filling up, I assume that means seasons, maybe? Uh, I think the seasons change like every three days. So they, it changes pretty quickly. Boom. Perfect. House completed. Oh! Oh, it comes with a bed. Multiple beds. Seasons and sleep. There are four seasons. Spring, summer, autumn, and winter. The seasons change automatically after three days. Many things depend on... So that's what I was talking about. Many things in the seasons include the snowing and harvesting times for certain cereals and vegetables. And also the timing of the ability of wild food resources, including berries and mushrooms. There are different temperatures during the various seasons. You'll need to have um, suitable clothes ready for those you can sleep in your bed or by the fire between 7 p.m and 7 a.m sleeping by the fire does not restore health sleeping in your bed restores your hp a little okay so it's not like sleeping will automatically put you at 100 percent so set a, a trap okay so we got a couple more objectives here for chapter two uh, we need to make a wooden spear, a stone knife, a trap, a rabbit trap, hunt a wild animal, and survive for a season. Okay, so let's do that. Let's see, maybe other. Oh yeah, traps. Yes. Oh, cool. So let's put this. I guess I, I maybe like in the forest. I'm not quite sure, like, where rabbits usually spawn. But we'll put it kind of right over here, where it's kind of vegetated. Cool. There's our rabbit trap. And then we need to make a spear. So, wooden spear. All it takes is, what, one stick or something? Boom. There's our spear. Let's go ahead and assign it to number three, which I think it already is. Yep, signed to number three. Very cool. And then we need to build a stone knife, which I assume we're gonna need a rock for. So let's try to look around for a rock. Uh, let me just see what it requires. Where is it? Oh yeah, stone skinning knife or just stone knife? I assume it's the same thing. Oh, we need two rocks. Okay. Rocks are hard to come by. Okay, we found two rocks. Took a little while, but we should be able to make our knife. And hopefully that will be automatically assigned to three. No, it's not. So let's go ahead and go to our inventory. Assign the knife to number four. So there we go. We got our knife. Now we need to hunt a wild animal. So I assume we have to use our spear to go hunt a wild animal. Now, it is getting quite dark out. Um, what time is it? I don't know, but... Oh, I see. Okay. So, I get the meter now. So, remember it says seasons are three days? So, that the meter shows how many days within the season. So, we're at the end of day one. Well, let's go ahead and, and sleep. There we 
go. Ah, ah, another beautiful day. Grateful to be alive. Grateful to be alive. Okay, so let's go see if we caught a rabbit. Which, uh, maybe we did. If we didn't, we could try to hunt a rabbit. So... Okay, we can throw it? Oh, yeah. Okay, we gotta be careful, though. When we throw it. Because it used, like, half. Oh, we got a rabbit! Nice! And then we can reactivate it. Heck yeah. So, we got us a rabbit. That was pretty easy. Okay, the rabbit died in there too. <laughs> it's kind of sad. <laughs> Usually you would have to kill it. Uh, but we're gonna go hunting. We're gonna go hunting and, and try to find a wild animal. I mean, if we can find another rabbit, that would be perfect. Because then we can... Um, you know, make a nice meal. Rabbit stew or something. Really anything. Maybe some fish. Obviously there's no fish over here because there's no water, but let's see if we can get lucky here and find a find an animal to kill. So we are on the road. Oh, see where we're going? We're going north right now. I don't know, maybe we should stay far away from the roads when we're hunting. I don't know if that's a thing, I'm just assuming. Maybe like animals stay away from the roads because people use them all the time? This is such an awesome game. This is so cool. This is like, this is like Kingdom Come Deliverance without like the story. You're just like living. It's kind of awesome. Alright, I don't know, I could crouch, does that make me more hunty like more sneaky. Alright. I don't see anything yet. Knowing my luck, there's gonna be like a giant boar that I try to fight. It just kills me. So while I was looking for, um, for some animals, it looks like I found a good, like, stone pit here. So if we ever need to collect some stone, which I'm sure we're gonna need stone for more elaborate buildings and, like, fencing or stone fencing and stuff. So this will be a good little stone area. Where am I? So you can see I'm kind of in this like grassy area and our house is over here so I'm um, just keeping a little mental note but yeah it's it's been pretty cool still no animals yet though wait 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 oh there's a deer there's a deer whoa there's a lot of deer and that is a fox there's a fox okay hold on now if I can actually kill a deer, look at this guy. Let's see how close I can get. Right? Oh no! No, buddy. There's no way you're surviving this. Wait, wait, wait. I can. I'm pretty quick. This is horrible. How is he still alive? There's a. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't freak out, stop. I, I wanted a painless death for you. I feel so bad. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Just pause it here. Let me make another spear. Oh I, oh, I need a log. I need a log to make a spear, not a stick. Buddy, you gotta calm down. All right, I need to try to get to him. I'm about to run out of stanima. Stanima. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just relax, relax, relax. Just die. Oh no. If I can just... Dang it. Alright, alright, alright. Let me see. <laughs> He's just running around. Okay, okay. This is where we're gonna catch up to him. If I can get close enough to grab the spear... I picked up some herbs. Okay, okay, okay. We're just gonna have to chop down a tree. This is very, uh... Not... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't lose him. I see him. Okay, he stopped. So I need to go get some more logs here. Hurry. Don't want to lose him. 
Alright, we got some logs. So, okay, he's up here. We're gonna make we're gonna make another spear. And hopefully this is enough to kill him. I feel so bad because he has a literal literal spear stuck in his body. See, this is this is this is what hunters are talking about. Like, you gotta be good at hunting. You don't wanna make an animal suffer. Alright. Okay, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, he's 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 getting sick. He's or not sick, but he's dying. Come on, please. I'm so sorry. There we go. Oh. Jeez. Rest in peace, buddy. I am so sorry. I really am. All right, let's skin him. God, what a horrible way to go. All right, there we go. There we go. We got our meat. We traveled quite far away from our home. But we'd probably want to invest in, like, I don't know, a bow and arrow. That probably will do more damage than a spear. I don't Like, I've, I got quite the strength. If I can if I can throw a spear and it goes straight through a deer to the other side, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good. Like, if the Olympics existed at this time... You know the the Olympics we we know of today, uh, yeah, I would be uh, quite the uh, quite the spear thrower or whatever. All right, so we're gonna head back home and maybe cook some of this food. All right, guys, so home sweet home, we made it back after a great adventure of hunting, and we gathered our our meat. Um, I'm curious to see what do we need to to make food soup okay oh meat with gravy so I have a feeling we have to cook the meat like maybe outside but this is okay here's a chest that we can put stuff in so here's our meat we got nine meat and 20 dried meat wait this is all our stuff Wow okay so we have plenty of food to go to hold out with but I think what I'm gonna do is put my, mm, I'll put my logs. See, how do I put them? Oh, F, transfer. Logs, rocks, and sticks. I'll put half of my sticks in there. So this will be like my building chest. Uh, let's see if we can make a fire pit. We'll put it like right out here. So we can cook, we can make a torch, a simple torch, but, oh yeah, campfire. We need, 16 sticks so let's let's get our sticks back um, I want all of them that should be enough there we go cool let's light a fire now can we cook oh yeah Wait, what? Cooking. Oh, okay, you just press E. Roasted meat. Press R to craft more. Let's craft nine. Look at that. We are making some roasted meat. About to feed off of the fruit, or about to, it's the fruits of our labor, essentially. This poor deer that was running around for a good five minutes of a spear going through its chest. Which I don't even know is possible. And then as soon as it's all cooked, we will uh, exit. How do we how do we turn the fire off? Is this is it just always on? Okay. Alright. That doesn't go out? Huh. I guess we'll just let it burn there. So, let's eat, shall we? Let's have a delicious, uh, delicious dried meat, roasted meat. Let's have roasted meat. I assume dried meat lasts longer. I don't know how long 
Uh, meat last. Let's see. Freshness, 100%. Craft food, or, uh, a crafted food resource restores bigger amount of food than raw meat and can be roasted on campfires or grate from raw meat. Plus six food. Okay, so that didn't fill us up all the way. So you know what? Let's um, let's assign this to zero. Can we? Or do we have to eat it like this? Yeah, there we go. Wow, you gotta eat a lot of meat. Wow. Okay. So I've learned something. There we go. And our hydration went up too. I haven't had any water. Like, seems like food works with the hydration. I don't know. Um, but it seems... You know how I ate those bread, like, those oat rolls? I think they feed you more because they're harder to craft and you have to craft them in the cauldron. Um... Yeah, so that's what I assume. Meat with gravy. Oh, all we need is roasted meat and onions. That sounds delicious. <laughs> all right, guys. I think um, we're going to end the episode here. So I think the way I'm going to do this series, if you want to call it a series, is I'm going to do the first couple episodes doing the basics. Basically showing you new stuff we haven't seen yet. And then as we get more comfortable with the basics and it becomes less interesting, like more just like, oh, I got to do this thing to do this. I will probably edit that stuff out and kind of show you me building up my village uh, more quickly and kind of giving you like, oh, hey, I built this over here. So it's I'm not going to show you everything uh, except for the very beginning where I'm going over the basics. If you get what I'm saying. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I am really enjoying this game a lot. Again, guys, if you look in the video description, there's a link where you can get the game for 28% off. And of course, you support my channel. So don't miss out on that. This has been a lot of fun. I'm excited for the next episode, which again, I probably in the next episode, I will show a lot of what I'm doing, like basics wise. And we'll craft new items. We got a lot of stuff we can... We can build fences, furniture, uh, traps, let's see, buildings, farming, survival. Like, there is a ton of stuff. Like, ooh, hunting lodge? That's awesome. So there's a lot of cool stuff. Farming? Ooh, we can make a field? That's awesome. That's awesome. So we'll get to that in the next couple episodes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And I'll see you guys next time on the medieval countryside? I'll see you guys later.